Good morning, everyone. So today, I will be talking about confidence. So my specific topic is my confidence evolution. How my confidence has grown throughout the whole 14 years of life. So first, let's define confidence. Well, based on Wikipedia, confidence is generally described as a state of being certain either that a hypothesis or prediction is correct or that a chosen course of an action is best or most effective. Well, my definition is just having faith or believing in something. So let's start with the timeline. First of all, when I was first born as an offspring, I didn't know what confidence was. I had no idea what the world would give me and what would come to me and how I would have to deal with life. So the only thing I was confident of was my biting skills. Then, when I became a toddler, I was kind of sensing the confidence needed when I was when I was taught I was forced to go to a new school without being asked if I liked it or not, and I was too shy or even scared to make friends, so I decided to cry on my first day. Very good thing to do, and thankfully a really nice girl came up to me and gave me a toy, and we made friends since then. Well, ever since then, that she wasn't the only friend that I had, but I was completely fine with it. So the first story of my confidence. I had a crush on this guy when I was in kindergarten. He was super cute and handsome. And but I was too shy and I didn't have enough courage to get near him and I would always stand from far away and watch him with every step he go. And one day he caught me doing that creepy thing and he was really he felt like really weird and he looked at me like really creepily and I was like, "Oh no, what did I do?" And in the end, he liked my friend, but I was completely fine with it. She was a nice person, and she was really confident, and she just know she just knew what she wanted to do, and I just wanted to be like her. So I told myself, when I when I'm six, I will be like that too. Next, when I went to primary, this was when the real hell started to in my life. My first day of school went by peacefully. It was completely fine. We made I made some friends while we were looking at pictures from the older senior people. And we, we talked normally, generally, and we became friends. But then as I grew older, until third grade, I realized that I do something really weird. Whenever the teacher called me up for a presentation or like just to read an article from the book, I start to shake a lot. My voice started to tremble and my knees were shaking and I couldn't even like focus on what I was doing. And every time we play games and we had to go up the board to write the answer, I would, I would be scared, I'd be creeped out, and I would be like really terrified. And my, my body shivered so much, I was afraid of writing everything or doing anything I was doing, and I couldn't focus on doing anything, and it was really bad. So one day, you know, well, there was one time when I would never forget when the music teacher forced me to sing a song all alone in front of the whole class with no music, no instrument, and I was there standing awkwardly and just ruining a song. So that's when my confidence really went down from one to minus like infinity. And when I came to Wellspring, starting my secondary you know, session, I could feel the tension because Wellspring was the international school. And I, I acknowledged that there will be people who are really, really good at talking, public speaking like this. And they would be really confident and I would feel like I would be like a little lonely girl, have no idea what she was doing, and I would be a loner. I would be different. And uh, luckily, the first day was really nice. I was accepted to there, and I made some friends. It was completely normal until the teacher gave us an assignment. We were supposed to read a history book and to talk about it. I freaked out. I freaked out so much. I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. I read the book. I spent hours reading it. I didn't know I didn't know how to speak in front of the class or like say something, let alone introduce about a book. And everyone I felt like everyone was really good at speaking and they were all really prepared. And I'm just there like, how do I do this? What do I do? What do I do with myself? Why am I gonna embarrass myself on the whole class? So I ended up remembering 90% of the book because I was so scared that I would forget something up there and I would stand up there knowing not not knowing what to say. So when the day came, the teacher called me up and it was my turn to talk. So I had a little small book with me, nothing else. I was just standing there in front of the whole class, all eyes on me, and I started to talk. I just said everything I remembered. Everything just poured out of my mouth. It just came out like, like a song. It just, 
and just so fast I couldn't realize what was going on. And after all of it, I felt good. I felt like really good. It was a really new experience for me. I was like, wow, is this like how public speaking and talking in front of people is like? I kind of liked it. And also I thought, oh, I did pretty bad. But then the teacher was like, well, yeah, you did great. You did a really good job. You had a good memory. And how do you, do you remember all that book? And I'm like, nothing. It's not now. It's nothing. And from since, ever since from then, I was, I pretty liked talking in front of people, surprisingly. And I started to do more presentations when the teacher asked for if you want to do projects or tests. I always signed up for all the projects with presentation and I love talking in front of people. I love sharing ideas in front of everyone and just saying what on, what's on my mind. And even when I had story to tell my friends, it just like became like a five minutes or like sometimes 20 minute story, even though it just works like one or two sentences to say. But I just love the idea. I love the feeling of talking. It's just so interesting and just so seductive. Like, what the hell? And so going on, moving on until eighth grade, that's when my teacher was Mr. Kevin. Well, I didn't talk a lot since then. And it was, he gave us an assignment to search up a famous leader and tell the, tell the class about why I liked him and why, why do I admire that person. So I chose Adolf Hitler, don't, don't tell anyone. I chose Adolf Hitler as my admirable leader. And I talked, I was really nervous, the feelings came back to me and my hands were shaking all again, my hand, all my body was sweating, my voice was trembling, I couldn't remember anything and I had a small note in, in my hand and Mr. Kevin called me up and he told me to start and I started talking and it just it just went by like when, when I was in sixth grade, like all like all the first time all again. And I started to talk, to talk, to talk and I said everything I knew about Adolf Hitler and why was he a really famous and you know very admirable kind of guy and Kevin was like you did a great job Alice it's like it was really great you did really great and I was like wow how how I've never I haven't talked in like years and it's like and it felt good again and so I'm like that's it I want to do more talking I need to do more talking I want to talk in front of people I want to be able to go to college university and talk of people in front of people confidently so ever since then until now I've done a lot of things and thanks to all my teachers friends and family uh, I I've now been able to stand here to talk in front of all of you guys and chat uh, about my confidence well you guys may think that why am I talking about my confidence? Because I'm arrogant or selfish. But please take in mind that to all the teachers, the parents, the students here, you, your child, your students, are all going through what I am going through, what I was or are going, or I am going through. Because I'm only an ordinary girl who just went through all of this mess and became here till now, standing on this stage, thanks to you guys. Thank you for listening.